The Terminator is a storied Hollywood franchise that has featured several stars as the various cyborgs and Connor family, but even more mind-blowing are the many, many A-listers who almost got their Skynet on. Come with me if you want to live. When James Cameron was developing the first Terminator in the early 80s, Orion Pictures head Mike Metavoy actually wanted O.J. Simpson for the title character and was courting Arnold Schwarzenegger for Kyle Reese, the hero sent back in time to protect Sarah Connor from the Terminator. Cameron felt like Simpson, fresh from the naked gun, was too likable and reportedly offered the role to Mel Gibson. After he turned it down, several others were considered, including Chevy Chase, Tom Selleck, Kevin Kline, Michael Douglas, and Sylvester Stallone, who did sort of get to be the Terminator in Last Action Hero. He's fantastic. This is his best performance ever. The director eventually convinced Schwarzenegger to play the Terminator and set out to cast Reese, considering Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, and even Rocker Sting. Michael Bean blew his first audition by using too much of a southern accent, but was able to win the part later down the road. Can you stop it? I don't know. For Sarah Connor, Cameron reportedly wrote the role with Bridget Fonda in mind, but after she passed, moved on to Tatum O'Neill. Cameron then decided to make Sarah older and reportedly offered it to Deborah Winger, who also turned it down. That led to Cameron considering a long list of actresses at the time, including Glenn Close, Melanie Griffith, Jodie Foster, Kathleen Turner, Michelle Pfeiffer, Carrie Fisher, Sharon Stone, Kelly McGillis, Leah Thompson, and Gina Davis. It came down to Jennifer Jason Lee or Linda Hamilton, so Cameron cast Hamilton as Sarah and Lee as Ginger, although she was replaced at the last minute by Bess Mata. Why me? For 1991's Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Cameron considered bringing Bean back to play T-1000 in what would have been a complete role reversal with Schwarzenegger, who was the hero in this movie. Instead, Cameron offered the role to rocker Billy Idol, but he had to pass after being in a motorcycle accident. Cameron then cast Robert Patrick as the villainous cyborg after seeing him in Die Hard 2 and set out to find a teenage John Connor. Hook's Charlie Cosmo was offered the role, but he had already committed to What About Bob? Fortunately, casting directors discovered Edward Furlong at a boys and girls club in Pasadena, and he was cast in his first ever part. This is deep. Furlong was supposed to reprise the role in 2003's Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, but pulled out over personal issues. John Krasinski, Chris Klein, and David Walton read for the role, but it came down to Shane West and Nick Stahl, who auditioned five times to land it. Sophia Bush was originally cast as John's love interest, but was replaced at the last minute by Claire Danes. Meanwhile, men and women were being considered for TX, including Vin Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, Gwyneth Paltrow, Famke Janssen, Carrie Ann Moss, Jerry Ryan, and late WWE wrestler China. But it was Kristana Loken who won over new director Jonathan Mosto. I like this car. For 2009's Terminator Salvation, after Christian Bale was early to sign on as John Connor, it was Cameron who suggested director McGee cast his Avatar star Sam Worthington as new character Marcus Wright, after Josh Brolin reportedly turned it down. When Danes declined to return as Kate Connor, Charlotte Gainsbourg was cast, but then pulled out due to scheduling and was replaced by Bryce Dallas Howard. Meanwhile, Tilda Swinton was replaced as Dr. Kogan shortly before filming by Helena Bonham Carter. And you executed that programming beautifully. For 2015's Terminator Genesis, Bale declined and new director Alan Taylor's next choice, Tom Hardy, was unavailable, so Jason Clark was cast instead. For Sarah Connor, Emily Blunt was considered and Brie Larson and Margot Robbie auditioned, but Taylor chose Amelia Clark, whom he had worked with on Game of Thrones which, side note, also starred Lena Headey, who played the title role on the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles TV series. Come with me if you want to live! For the return of Kyle Reese, Taylor Kitsch, Nicholas Holt, Garrett Hedlund, Boyd Holbrook, and Wilson Bethel auditioned or were considered, but Divergence Jai Courtney won out. Schwarzenegger appeared as the Guardian in Genesis, but comes back as the Terminator in this fall's Terminator Dark Fate, which also marks the return of Hamilton and Furlong as Sarah and John. Cameron, who co-wrote the script, has said it will be the final Terminator movie, but can you really believe it when this is the most famous line in your franchise? I'll be back.